All right, so once you open up your Arduino program, this is the IDE, the uh, software, the interface environment. So you'll go down on the tool menu and click on RDBlock, and you should have this that pops up. Um, this is a pretty cool little add-on for the Arduino program that allows us to go ahead and graphically program the Arduino, much like we did with the, um, the little turtle that we worked with last time. The advantage of this is that um, it's much easier to get started with, and when you do strictly text-based, there's a lot of grammar, punctuation, um, and syntax that uh, the smallest little mistake, a misplaced semicolon, um, a capital letter in the wrong spot, um, that can throw the text-based program off. This one works a little bit more simply. So you should have built the circuit that I passed out with you with uh, three LEDs. And we're going to go ahead and do a little program that just uh, turns those LEDs on to make sure that we are, um, make sure they're all wired up correctly and everything on our board is working. So the first thing to know about an Arduino program is that everything, this is probably the hardest part, um, everything needs to be inside one of these loop blocks. And you can only have one loop block per program. It won't work otherwise. So let me repeat that. Whenever you build your Arduino program, you're going to build it inside this loop block, and you can only have one loop block per program. You're going to get an error otherwise. So uh, here's my one loop block that I'm going to have, and we're going to build inside of that. First thing to do um, is that we're working with our digital pins on our Arduino, and we've got three of them. So the LEDs are hooked up to pins 3, 4, and 5. So all I have to do is um, set this, set digital pin 3 to high. So that means turn the power on to that digital pin. And press Enter. So this program by itself should turn the LED that's hooked up to pin 3. should turn that one on. And so let's just go ahead and um, we can repeat the process for pin 4. Press Enter. Then you can actually just clone this, and we can go to pin 5. So now let's hit Upload. And this should start the pro begin the process of getting your program up to the Arduino. Now, On the Arduino screen, you'll see some messages down here. Mine's already done, but you might get a message, a little graph over here showing that it's getting uploaded. If you notice here, the neat thing about this Arduino block is that it actually creates some text code for us. So this code right here, we could manually type this in, um, and it would do the same thing, but this is the equivalent in the Arduino block graphic formula. Um, we'll do a little bit with the text throughout the year, but I do want you just to kind of pay attention to what's going on. The first thing is that now that this is uploaded, you should go ahead and check your board. And the three LEDs should be on. If they're not on, um, why don't you go ahead and try to troubleshoot. Most often, what I see happen is that either you haven't hooked up your power correctly, or the LEDs are in backwards. All right, you need to make sure that the longer lead for the LED is hooked up to the positive side. OK. Once you have that working, go ahead and show it to me, and I'll check you off the list. And then we're going to do the next test circuit program. And that's just going to test what the button does. So we've got all three of these on. Now we want to bring the button into play. And then to, to get the button into play, we're going to um, have to use a different kind of control. And we're going to use this if control. So then we want to, instead of um, setting the digital pin to a value, we want to read a digital pin. Because this, are out, this is an output, um, but we want an input. So that is simply this command here. You see if I hover over this digital pin, it says 
a little help message pops up and it says read digital value from pin. And that's what we want to do. We want to read the digital value. And we need to hook this up to the, we need to set the proper pin. I believe we've done this in pin two. So um, if the digital pin picks up a signal at pin two, then it's going to turn all the LEDs on. All right, let's go ahead and upload that to our board. Now you should see that your board, all the pins go, all the LEDs go dark. And then you press it and your pins turn on. Now you probably see that the pins don't turn off. Um, and then, well, we'll get to that a little bit later. We just, if you want to retest it again, um, you can either just upload the program again by pressing the upload button, or there's a small reset button next to the USB port on your Arduino, and you can go ahead and press that little brown reset button on your Arduino. Either way, that will run the program again, and you can test your button again. All right. So those are the two test buttons. So, so far we've checked to make sure our LEDs are working. We've checked to make sure our buttons are working. Now, the spaceship interface. Let's go ahead and create that program. The first version of this will be pretty simple. So let's go ahead and take this. We can drag it over to the left to get rid of it. We're just going to start over again. All right, this popped back on. OK. Spaceship interface program. First thing is to get our single loop that is going to form the core of the program. This time we're going to use this, this um, control right here. It's if else. So this is going to perform it. It's going to look for a certain value from the button. So we need to go ahead and put into here um, digital pin. This will read digital pin where the button is. So we, read, we will read digital pin 2. And if digital pin 2 is pressed, it's going to do whatever you put in this first little socket here. If digital pin 2 is not pressed, then it's going to do whatever we put into this second socket here. So let's go ahead and do the second socket for when the pin button is not pressed. So in that one, we're going to want to turn the green LED on. So the green LED should be in pin 3. So set digital pin 3 to high. So that should turn your light on if the button is not pressed. Now we have this right here. And we're going to create a flashing pattern. So the first thing we want to do is we want to turn one of them on. So let's turn pin 4 on. And we need to make sure that pin the other light is off, we're going to have an alternating flashing pattern. It turns one on, then the other, then the other, then back and forth, one light on. So we'll take pin 5 and turn that to low. Now we need to have a little bit of a delay, because it can do this really, really fast. So in order for us to see that it is on, that pin 4 is on and pin 5 is off, we need to slow it down. We'll put about a 250 millisecond delay. So that's 0.25 seconds or a quarter second. 250 millisecond delay. Press enter. And we can right click on the top here and clone this. And that gives us some extra commands here. This is the second time we're getting to pin 4, right? Here's the first time we turned pin 4 on. Well, now we want to turn pin 4 off, so it'll flash. But pin 5 needs to be on. So there we go. This should be our program. So we can go ahead and uh, press Upload. And then you can look at your Arduino, your official Arduino interface. It's done uploading. If you look at your board, uh, the green LED should be on. If you press the button, it should flash the other two LEDs. Now, you're probably looking at that and thinking, oh, wouldn't it be cool if the green LED turned off? And if I let go of the button, one of the LEDs, one of the red LEDs is always on. So how can we make sure that when the red lights flash, 
the green one goes off, and the green one goes on, the, both the red ones are off. All right. So before this is the first version that you've already done, where the green light stays on. So what we need to do is to go ahead and make sure that we set the digital pin with the green LED off at the beginning of this. So here is pin two. Set it to low. All right, and that, at the start of our flash pattern, make sure that the green LED is off. Then when the button isn't pressed, it's going to do what's down here. So if the button isn't pressed, we need to make sure we turn off the um, both red LEDs. Make sure both of the red LEDs are off. So we'll grab a digital pin, turn pin 4 to low, and do the same thing again with pin Five to low. So let's go ahead and upload this. Check out what it does. All right, and then test it out. Well, I'm noticing the green LED stays on. We took care of one problem, but the green LED is staying on. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. So the we've got digital right two to low right here. All right, that I just figured out that that last digital pin that we added there, we need to make sure that's pin three, not pin two. That goes to pin three. All right, um, so that should take care of your the first si six steps on the challenge. Um, go ahead and show these to me, and I will give you a little bit extra, some extra challenges to work on.